The next version of Windows has arrived, but should you upgrade, we've got 10 reasons why you should give Windows 10 a try. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and welcome to Gadget Match. As a kid growing up on Windows, I've always been excited about new versions of the operating system. Every other release since 1998 has been good and then bad. Windows 98 was great, Windows ME was sucky, Windows XP was awesome, Windows Vista, a nightmare, Windows 7, a pleasure to use, Windows 8, a pain. So if that pattern continues, then Windows 10 should be pretty fab, and from the looks of it, it's going to stay that way. Microsoft is calling it the last version of Windows. Not because Windows has reached end of life, but moving forward, Windows will just be referred to as Windows with regular incremental updates. These changes are reflective of even bigger changes inside Microsoft. The tech giant says it has higher aspirations for the world's most popular OS. We want to move from people needing Windows to choosing Windows to loving Windows. So what's there to love about Windows 10? We've got 10 reasons. Number one, return of the start menu. In a way, Windows 10 is all about correcting the mistakes of the past. When Windows 8 was unveiled in 2012, two particular things bugged users the most. One is what I'd like to call multiple personality disorder. Both the touch interface and the old desktop mode wrestled for your attention. And it was downright confusing. The second pain point was the unceremonious death of the start menu. Both items have been addressed in Windows 10. Now, when you boot up your computer, it will bring you straight to the familiar desktop environment, and there, all glorious, at the bottom left-hand side of your screen sits the Start menu. As can be expected, clicking on it brings up the familiar Programs pane, and to the right of that, the live tiles we've come to love. It's the best of both worlds, and we're pretty happy about it. Number 2. Continuum. But that doesn't mean we've seen the last of the Windows 8 interface. Windows is now just smart enough to figure out what device it's running on. On convertible devices, for example, when you switch from notebook to tablet mode, the experience will change to one that's optimized for touch. And soon on Windows Phone, when you connect a smartphone running Windows 10 Mobile to an external monitor, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, it will scale up like you were on a laptop. Now that's pretty darn awesome. Number three. Universal apps. When it was first announced, the big promise of Windows 10 was that it would be the one operating system to rule them all. One OS to run on desktops, notebooks, tablets, smartphones, the Xbox, and even Microsoft's new augmented reality headset, HoloLens, and one store to download apps from. The vision is pretty simple. You install just one app and it will scale depending on the type of device that it is installed on. That is pretty much still a vision more than it is reality at the moment, if only more developers would drink the Kool-Aid, so to speak. For now, the only available universal apps are a suite of Microsoft Office apps. Number four, Cortana. A virtual assistant built into the operating system. Genius, makes you wonder why Apple hasn't brought Siri into OS X yet. Eh. Too late, Windows Phone personal assistant in residence Cortana makes its way to Windows 10. She's as feisty and as helpful as ever. She can search the web or your computer, remind you of upcoming flights or appointments, and answer random questions. Need her to tell you a joke? Sure, she can do that. Hey Cortana, tell me a joke. Why didn't the spider go to school? Because she learned everything on the web. Just don't ask for someone to love. Hey Cortana, find me a boyfriend. Wish I could, but I'm not a licensed matchmaker. Number five, Action Center. In this smartphone dominated world, notifications are part of everyday life. So why shouldn't we be able to get them on our computers too? On Windows 10, swiping in from the right using your touchscreen or your trackpad will bring out the Action Center that displays app notifications like new emails, Facebook likes, and Twitter mentions. Number six, hello. Forget passwords, not even the fingerprint scanners on your smartphones are as awesome as hello. New facial recognition software built in to Windows 10. How does it work? You'll need supported hardware, specifically cameras with built-in infrared sensors. Expect the next wave of devices to have them. 
just sit in front of your computer during startup, and like that, the computer logs in, no passwords required. Number seven, Windows Snap. In this age of multitasking, there is power in window management. It's like taming the beast, and true to its name, it's something that Windows does pretty well. I particularly love being able to open Windows side by side, like an internet browser on one side and a Word document on the other. Windows Snap is improved in Windows 10. You can now arrange up to four windows side by side and even get suggestions on which open windows to dock. Number eight, Edge Browser. Who likes Internet Explorer? Raise your hands. Not me, and neither does Microsoft. So from now on, they want you to use their new browser. Called Edge, the browser is cleaner, snappier, and more modern. It has a couple of nifty features like distraction-free reading, quick answers from the address bar, and the ability to annotate web pages by drawing on them. It's a good start, but still has a long way to go to unseat Chrome. Little things like extensions are very much needed and will give users the experience they're used to. Number nine. Xbox streaming. The next reason will pique the interest of Xbox One gamers. Yep, you can now stream Xbox games to your Windows computer and play with your Xbox controller. But that's not the best part. You'll soon be able to play multiplayer games between Xbox and PC. Number 10, free. This last reason is a pretty darn good one. I mean, who doesn't like free, right? Yep, you heard me, Windows 10 is completely free as long as you have a legit version of Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 and as long as you upgrade within the next year. Boxed copies are still available for purchase if that's your thing. To find out how you can upgrade, click here for our How to Upgrade video or if you can't wait, download your copy directly from Microsoft. We'll put a link in the description below. If you want more Windows 10 videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like our Facebook page, plus follow Gadget Match elsewhere on social media. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.